Shane Dawson, which is why I think it's so ironic whenever your fans are like, stop taking videos with them, because you make them about Shane as well whenever you're on Clever News. And on this podcast now, you talk about drama and you talk about things. So, of course, like, you can't be like, oh, I'm going to talk about it now, and it, it upsets me that I have to talk about it because I'm a trending topic. How do you think the people that you talk about feel? <laughs> like, this is not a, you can dish it and you can get it, but that's besides the point. Still, I have to address in some sort of way because I've seen I've been flooded on all, all elements of social media regarding this situation, and Trish is so what do you got is underwear pro- it, um, mad at us right now and I guess the only this seems very weird yes. I've watched this a couple times and I and it just seems like they're making it seem like Trisha is the problem. And again, Trisha has the worst track history, even just with friendships, that it's very easy to believe narratives against her. But obviously, even Ryland's audience aren't falling for it this time because of the dislikes yes. to likes and the negative comments. So them being like, Trisha's mad at us and we don't know why. And putting this narrative that, you know, she's the problem or like she's mad at us and this came all about from nothing and we don't know what's happening. I don't think it's going to work in his favor this time because people are actually taking Trisha's side, including myself, because we can relate what has happened to her to our own life. And we're just seeing from a human level what y'all are doing, belittling her and bullying her and harassing her and silencing her and just like uh, promoting the people that are going against her and you're not listening to her. It, of course, it's not just like she's mad at us and we don't know why she's mad at us. Not us. I'm, I'm confused. Okay. I'm confused. Okay. Okay. Again, I'm so sorry, but I just have to call, call it the hypocrisy here. You're confused and taken back, even though Trisha reached out to you. She told us she reached out to you, got feedback back from Shane, and that was what set her off again that Shane didn't believe her and didn't want to take her side and said, Come over and we'll eat food and we can just forget this happened. Trisha did reach out, so you can't be like, this happened out of nowhere. We're so taken aback. She literally, like, gave warning that this was something that... Again, I get it. You're just trying to cover yourself and cover your ass because you're getting so called out. She's had drama with Jeffrey and Hair by Jay, who has... Again, again, he goes on to say that Hair by Jay is a horrible person. Agreed. However, doing that she's had drama with, she's had drama with, again, like, perpetrates this, that, you know, she's had drama with everyone, and now she's having drama with us. This is supposed to be your best friend. We said horrific things that I don't stand by. Good. Support the bare minimum we're going to say. Trisha over here by... Which is interesting, because Shane didn't want to unfollow her by Jane until Jeffrey gave the permission to Ireland. So you don't stand by, but a couple days ago, we can let you do this, you know... Both of your, you know, Shane was following Hair by Jay, Jack was following Hair by Jay, until the public narrative got so strong in Trisha's favor against you that he's like, let's drop him. Jay, like, that's your friend I 12 years. Followed this man, I don't know this man, I've met him. And I hate to do this, passing, yeah. and the fact that I'm so heavily involved with this really does break my heart because I love Trisha so much. Yeah. I consider her one of my closest friends. We see her more. You consider her one of your closest friends, but from what she's presenting us with, and now you haven't presented us with anything, but she's actually presented us with stuff, it seems like you didn't treat her like a close friend. It seems like you're going to say that now because that's the best thing you can say in this situation. Get ready, everybody. Papa Bear's back. Mm-hmm. than I see really anyone besides you because you come over weekly for this podcast and I guess if Trish is also a close right. friend and your closest friend why would you continuously go against her request you're promoting someone she has said has almost pushed her over the edge multiple times and it's very triggering to see and you're like idolizing this person my last video you're idolizing this person Jeffrey you're holding him to such a oh my god thank you Jeffrey we love you Jeffrey I love him level it's it's a bit strange Ryland I wish she would have come to me as a friend if she did hurting like she did she literally was able to read out the messages that Shane sent her saying let's forget about this let's Let's not make videos about this, Trisha. Come over and we'll eat food. Now, that's if Trisha's, you know, site is correct.
but she was reading out messages, and Ethan said he saw them, so I'm just going to say allegedly. But she did reach out. And Trisha said that Shane wasn't willing to make a compromise. He said, you know, Jeffrey wouldn't say those things. Come over and we'll forget about this. She did reach out. That's why people are calling you out on your hypocrisies, because you're straight up allegedly lying here. Right? Or no, allegedly lying. Come to me as a friend if she was hurting like allegedly. the way that she is mm -hmm. and talked it out with me and she I would have been allegedly. played out on the internet like this. I just am really honestly confused because I see her all of the time and even mm -hmm. after the last time Jeffrey was physically on this podcast, I was at her house and we had a wonderful, loving time and I understand. Why is he making this? Like I see Trisha more than Jeffrey. Like I hang out with Trisha way more. Trisha's making the point that you continuously mm -hmm. promoted him on the podcast and we're holding mm -hmm. him to such a god level whenever she's told you so many times mm -hmm. how bad she, you know, Jeffrey's made her feel. Mm -hmm. Not that, you know, you hung out with her more than Jeff. Mm -hmm. Like, this is now where you're just twisting it. Allegedly. It's hard for her to express her actual feelings towards Jeffrey to us or the craft. But Trisha said that continuously she was telling you over the past year mm -hmm. and she's like reading out these responses and different things shane has said so it's like which one of y'all is lying you know what i mean mm -hmm. feelings towards jeffrey to us or the gravity mm -hmm. in which she's feeling feelings toward passing yeah and the fact mm -hmm. that I'm so heavily involved with it when she knows we're specifically friendly with Jeffrey. So she's friendly? She's making the issue that you literally look at Jeffrey like, oh my god, thank you for giving me the time of day, Jeffrey. You know what I mean? You're praising him. You're posting him. You're... Yeah. Her to, like, ask me to cut him off. But at the same time, I just, I can't read someone's mind. And I feel like as an adult, I have two other adult friends that got in an altercation a year ago when she knows we're specifically friendly with Jeffrey. This just seems like a huge way of trying to cover your ass, and she has literally rebuked everything he said there. So I do believe that Trisha is going to respond to this, but like she doesn't have to because even just from the Daily Watcher, we know that what he's saying here, Trisha has literally said again before he said that. All you need to launch a celebrated art career, a cheap studio, a happy career-making accident. We're friendly with Jeffrey, and, you know, I can't control if my two friends get in an altercation. They're adults. Trisha said that she was telling you, you know, over the past year, and you weren't listening, allegedly. So this isn't just, you know, out of nowhere, Trisha has drama with everyone that has drama with Jeffrey again. I'm going to reach out to some of the comments on this podcast to show you that people are, you know, thinking about this. Take time to reflect and take responsibility for your actions, Violet. It's that simple. Jay wasn't the only one being disgusting, but Jeffrey. Violet, you're so fake. Humble yourself. She did. She defended Shane when no one else would. You guys didn't defend her when she was traumatized by your friend. Didn't Ryland and Lizzie go through a time where they didn't speak because Ryland was hurt? Lizzie continued to be a friend with someone who was horrible to Ryland? Hmm. I recall this being a topic on their first episode. I hope Ryland really thinks about this. Also, say it like it is. Trisha didn't have drama. She was bullied by your bestie, Jeffrey. Trisha said it best, in quotations, the very least a best friend could do is believe you. I'm like, that's whenever it fucking stung, whenever she was like, my best friend didn't even believe me, and she was crying. I literally cried on a live stream about that, because it was just being able to, like, feel how, how real that was. You should be ashamed of yourself, Ryland, on so many levels. Next comment. This wasn't addressing it, in my opinion. These are the top comments. This wasn't addressing it, in my opinion. The person who needs to address it is Shane Ryland. In quotations. This is another comment. I wish she would have came to me personally about it. As a friend, seeing someone 